let me just start by saying this please be careful with the way that you advertise stuff guys what's up it's your girl ja gorgeous imani jari whatever you want to call me and i'm back with another video so as you can see it's early as a mother sucker in the morning and i'm actually on my way to work i actually just recorded this so now i'm rushing because i'm almost late and um yeah this is kind of going to be like a day in the life of me and i know people who watch me who really know it's like what life you ain't got my mind your business um <laughs> So I'm just gonna take y'all through my daily process. I'm literally rushing, but nevertheless, we're still gonna make this video happen. Not only are y'all gonna see me go to work, y'all gonna see me glow up in real life. Like, it's just gonna be a beautiful day. I'm happy, I'm in a good mood. But at this point, I'm hyped. Let's go and let's tackle the day. Y'all, peep the freaking holographic stickers. Will be available soon. But yo, I just clocked out of my shift and I'm not even gonna hold y'all. I couldn't record because I'm not even supposed to have my phone. At my desk but if you want to know what i do comment below and i'll probably tell you i low-key saved the world at night if you know you know shout out to us we really out here but i'm about to go to my hair appointment and i'm kind of in a rush because i'm supposed to be there at 10 30 so i'm gonna take y'all with me and we all y'all i really cannot stand me y'all i'm the only person i know who keeps empty lip things around having myself being mad tight because i'll be thinking that it'd be something in there and it's not but i like the red vaseline if you know you know like which vaseline kind you like the red one the original or the cocoa butter because they all hit different for different purposes feel me so yeah i'm on my way to my hair appointment i'm about to bump and i'll see y'all when i get there bye What's up, y'all? It's John, and I'm back. I feel like a sniggity snack. Okay, you can't tell me nothing. Period. I got my hair done. I'll leave all the info in the description box below. Cause he slayed me once again. Slayed, 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 and that's all. Period. So I'm actually getting ready to go to my next destination of where I'm going for my little errands right now. Um, I have to go get some makeup from my friend Heavenly because she used to be a makeup artist and now she's transitioning to like a new part of her career that she wants to do herself so she's giving away a bunch of her stuff and i'm like yes because as i've been saying like i want to really tap into like my makeup artist bag and one of the main reasons why i don't feel comfortable doing makeup on other people yet is because i just don't feel comfortable like with my understanding of other people's skin so yeah we're gonna just tackle that fair and get right to it so with that being said that's where i'm headed to now i'm gonna go pick up some stuff from her and yeah i'm just gonna take you with the journey wherever i end up y'all gonna see so here we go y'all she gave me so many freaking goodies i'm so happy oh my god literally as soon as i was getting ready to pull off she messaged me and told me to come to the door so i went to get stuff and i'm mad excited this bag is heavy It's so beautiful when you have friends that you've known like all your life and like you still know them. I've known Heavenly literally all my life, like all my life. So she gave me this stuff and I'm so happy. I just know that I just love makeup and I love playing in it. And I want to be able to deliver. Like if somebody really wants to ask me, like, could you do my makeup or whatever? I'm not gonna go through the stuff now, but like I do see hella stuff that could be useful. She gave me some nice brushes. Okay, I did look. I'm so sorry. Ooh. This. I don't know. I'm very, very happy. Thank you so much, Heavenly. I'll probably do like another formal version of what I'm doing now when I get home and sit down and be able to go through this stuff. But yeah, we're about to be on my way home. So I'm about to end this video again, unfortunately. And when I come back, hopefully, it'll be a better scene so y'all can really like see how pretty I am. And I might actually do my makeup for y'all. Why not? I haven't done my makeup in a fat minute. I have a clean face too. So we're going to get into that. We're going to get into all that. We're going to discuss all of this. I'll be back. Bye. Okay, you guys. So I'm home now. And as to my promise, I did my makeup. And since I'm home now, I'm like, you know what? Being that I did my makeup. And like I said, I've been wanting to do this video about this situation that happened to me for a while. So I figured I might as well just do a story time while I also do an unboxing because I bought this new makeup case. And like I said, I've been trying to get into my makeup bag. So I bought this new travel makeup case for when I like get my situation like my kit together and what i'll probably do is i might show like me putting all my stuff to organize the stuff that i have now because what i'm also gonna do is open the stuff that heavenly gave me because i haven't done that so actually thank you heavenly once again for giving me all the stuff that's in this bag i had i peaked i ain't gonna lie i peaked 
But the one thing that I saw that I actually looked at to read, honestly, I didn't even really know what it was for. So we're going to get into all of that stuff that's in that bag. But while I'm doing that and while I'm going through this, I'm going to kind of be talking about this story about <laughs> how I got scammed. And I was very much confused. But before I do that, I want to say... Before anybody asks any questions about where I got this makeup case from, from um, unboxing it, I am going to leave all the, what you call it, all the details in the description box because I got this straight from Amazon and they have so many different ones and they have so many different colors. I wanted a green one, but then I was like, black just seems so much more like professional for the makeup industry. So it really wasn't that hard to convince me to get black. So with that being said, um, I am going to tell you guys the name of the makeup case right now while I look for it. I'll leave the name of the makeup case on the screen right here. Okay, so what I'm going to be showing you guys is the Yahi Tech 4-in-1 Professional Makeup Train Case Aluminum Cosmetic Case Extra Large Trolley Makeup Case in Black. So yeah, I'm gonna leave all the information in the description box. I really like this case. It came, it came with four compartments and the girl that I met, honestly, this is the one thing that's gonna be like the most positive thing about this story probably. But I met two girls, shout out to Nika and shout out to my Lynn. Those are my two friends that I met while I was at this makeup class that I'm about to get into the story time about. Pause, if you haven't already, please like, comment and subscribe to this video. <laughs> Just because I'm cute, duh. And secondly, because, um. I love you. What are you doing? Like, if nobody told you today, I love, like, I love you. Do you need a hug? But yeah, so like, comment, and subscribe. That really helps me when you give this video a thumbs up. I'm going to get into my story. I promise. I'm about to unbox this case. Like I said, I'm going to leave all the description information in the box comment section down below. So you guys can follow where I got this, this makeup case from. If you want one, need one, you know, whatever. And yeah, I'm going to get into my story. So boom. Here's the makeup case. I'm going to show you guys the box right now. Here's the makeup case, but I went to a makeup class. I guess this was my fault because I didn't take the time to like really do my research on this person. It was kind of a spur of the moment thing. And what got me is this is why I don't like the internet because the makeup class that I went to, so <laughs> I followed this girl. Actually, I subscribed to this girl. Her name is Tiffany B on YouTube. Love her. She's amazing. Um, you know. She was the muse for this makeup class, right? So I actually learned about the makeup class. I heard about the makeup class through her while I was watching one of her YouTube videos. Okay. So I go to the guy's page and I'm like, well, he has a decent size following because I wasn't trying to be in an environment where it was like so much going on. Like that's not my speed. So I'm like, I'm really trying to be low key because I'm just trying to get my feet wet. But at the same time, I feel like you have to be careful with your wording because this is what got me. So he advertised it as a beginner friendly master class or not even a beginner friendly master class. If I could find a flyer, I'll include the flyer right here. But what got me was the fact that he said it was a master class. And I'm like, well, I know I'm not a beginner because I do know like stuff about makeup or whatever. So I'm just trying to improve the skills I already have, right? So when I saw it, I was like, let me sign up because it was close enough to me. If you don't know, I'm from Jersey or whatever. And the class was in the city, but it was like close enough in the city for me to drive. And I don't like riding a train to the city by myself. And I knew that since it was last minute, I wasn't gonna ask none of my friends, whatever. I was really just going off of some like random, let me just go. But also I knew what I was getting myself into. So I thought. So now I get to the class, right? And hold up, I might need two hands. Oh, this is so cute. All right, look at the beats, y'all. I'm assuming this is the back because it has the handle. So we're going to get into this first. If you, oh, this feels so nice. Look at it. Look at it up close. Like, do you see like the texture of it? It feels really nice. I don't know if that's like pleather or like plastic, but I'm not going to get any scratches or nothing on it. Knowing me, oh, Jesus. I don't know about y'all, but I'm obsessed with the smell of like new stuff. That was the back, y'all. This is the, the red detail on the top. That's not cute, whatever. This is the front. And yeah, wow, that's didn't take me as long as I think it's gonna take me. Well, like that being said, we could go through the stuff Heavenly gave me and then I'm gonna put all of my makeup stuff in there and then I'm gonna put it in the makeup thing. 
Then I'm gonna show y'all what the inside just looks like. So let me finish telling my story first, then we can do all of that. But while I'm telling my story, I'm gonna be taking the stuff out that Heavenly gave me because it's not like I'm familiar with it and I'm not using it right now, but I will name what it is or I'll leave everything in the description box below. But I'll still show you what it is, okay? Okay. So, like I was saying, I went to the makeup class. Now, when I first got there, I was like, I need to get there early because it's in the city. And if you know anything about driving in the city, it's never a parking space. It's always traffic. Like, even with the corona, it's just still, that's what the situation is. So, I was like, I'm going to leave my house early. So, I went to the class or whatever. And the class started like an hour and 15 minutes late. And me and my girl... My limb was just sitting there like, what's going on? But we were still chilling because, you know, we were trying to be respectful and just let him do what he was going to do. After all of that, right, the class starts. Now we're sitting in the front because we're a VIP. We didn't look in our bag yet. But one thing that really got me tight, let me get it for y'all because I'm not going to flame him because this is not what that video is about. And I just want to say this first too, because I'm not trying to Start night, I'm just saying that I don't appreciate getting scammed. You should have been careful with your word and that's all I'm saying. Don't shoot me, hands up, don't shoot. Because that was not a masterclass, but we're gonna get to that. But let me show you what was on the table for us. So, we had the table set up, prepared for, for us. The scenery was very cute, very, very cute for what it was and we get there and there's these on the table. And this is supposed to be the mirror that we're using to do our makeup with. Okay. Do y'all hear that? This is literally calling the ocean right now. And it's not focused. It's like a magnifying glass. Like I wish, I feel like I'm in a fun house and you know those mirrors that kind of like move your body into different shapes. That's what this is giving me. Like that was on the table. Okay. And when it got time when the class started or whatever, after everybody got themselves situated, I'm supposed to be showing y'all the stuff Emily on me. He started doing the makeup, right? Now, based on the flyer, which is again, while I said you have to be careful with your wording, and I bought my tickets from Eventbrite, I swear, if I could go back in Eventbrite, I will show y'all what, he, let me see if I could check my Eventbrite history, because I will literally read you the description of the class. Let me just start by saying this. Please be careful with the way that you advertise stuff. Makeup and mimosas. Come on, enjoy a four hour hands on live demonstration of Jennifer. Nevertheless, it said bring your makeup brushes, bring your kit, bring your everything because you're going to be doing your makeup too. We ain't never touched them brushes. We ain't never touched the brushes. We never touched the brushes. But it was advertised like a master class. Like we was about to learn something. Okay. Now, Tiffany sat there and she got her makeup done as she was supposed to. And my understanding was that the whole purpose of us having to bring our own brushes, having to bring our own, basically our own makeup kits was for the simple fact that we were gonna be doing what you was doing as you were doing it on ourselves, which is why I'm assuming these were on the table. But, I'm sorry if this video is all over the place, but I'm just chatting, but <laughs> I needed to get this story off my chest, okay? So that's what this is, because what an experience is all I can say. Like I was played, scammed, hoed, all that. This bag is full of stuff that Heavenly gave me. I told her, girl, I went to go pick this up with one hand, I needed two. You didn't tell me that this was gonna be this much stuff. I didn't even put moisturize on my face, bro. Give me a second. As I digress so I can calm down while telling that story, actually what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take all this stuff out of this bag first and then I'm gonna come back in two seconds. Okay, now that we have all the stuff taken out of the bag that she gave me, I'm gonna go through this stuff and I'm gonna talk to y'all. Or I'm gonna just like show y'all. I don't feel like telling y'all what everything is. If y'all wanna know what it was, just ask me. And then if like I get so many questions, then maybe I'll put it in the description box. Or maybe I'll just put it in the description box off rip. It depends on how I feel, to be honest. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. 
now that that's out of the way, back to the story. So, did I say we never touched the brushes? We ain't never touched them brushes. Then on top of that, right? The thing that was getting me tight, ooh, this is a black opal, invisible oil blocking loose powder. Okay, I'm not opening this because it said it was a blue, oh wait. Invisible oil blocking loose powder? Oh, it's like a translucent powder, that's cute. Um, I don't think I've ever tried black opal. We never touched the brushes, y'all. I know that I'm like all around the place with this video, but like I'm trying to say it in part so that I don't get upset because like I said, I'm not saying this to attack anybody. I'm just saying be careful with how you wear things because don't nobody got money to be wasting. If that wasn't gonna be a masterclass, then you should have called it a masterclass. Now we have this Mac Compact Studio in NW58 powder, okay? Now, I already know what this looks like, I believe. Um, I mean, I know what the powder looks. Oh, it's not even a powder. It's a, what you call it? It's a foundation, like, I know what this is. Don't worry about it. That. Then we have this. Sonia Kashuk. Sonia Kashuk. How do you pronounce that? I don't know. Golden Shimmering Loose Powder Bronzer. Yes, I don't want to open that because bronzer gets everywhere. Thank you. We never touched the brushes, and as you could tell, we never touched the brushes, and we never did our makeup. I came back home looking the exact same way as I did how I got there. And you know what's crazy? We took before and after pictures, which meant to tell me that we were supposed to be doing our makeup. So this is another reason where I'm going with this video, and this is why I don't know why I just smelled this, but I had to smell if it was a powder or like a, what you call it, but it's a powder. This is why I'm saying this video too. These are wet, like, ooh, ooh. Okay, this is a contour palette, which I'm very excited about. It's a contour palette, I'm very excited about this. It's a creamy contour palette. That's why I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. And so on top of that, we took the before and after pictures, which is why I was a little confused because I'm like, if we was gonna do that, then that means that we should have did our makeup. But what made me upset was the fact that like afterwards, not even afterwards, during the whole experience, she gave me these two. And I think after this, I just got some brushes and some little like stuff that I'm gonna just hold up. I'm not gonna talk about it, but I'm gonna show y'all. And I'm telling my story so I can finish because I feel like at this point, I'm kind of going off on multiple tangents and it's getting me tight. So let me get back to it. All right. So these two palettes, ooh, that's cute. Not a nice pigmented shade. I'm not opening this either because it's powder. But um, we took the before and after pages and what was getting me tight, it was, it felt like, it felt like it was a movie, honestly. Like I was confused as to why nobody else was noticing what was going on. And if they did, why nobody was saying nothing. But me and my Lynn was saying like, it was this one girl. Ooh, you the beauty. It was this one girl. She kept making a comment basically like, so when am I next? Or like, when's my turn, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, when she was doing that, I felt like that was her way of, you know, like saying, are we gonna do our makeup anytime soon? Because after a while it started feeling like we was in watching like a live YouTube tutorial. I didn't pay for that. I really did not pay for that. If you know, you know. I really didn't pay for that and that was getting me tight as well. I was a little bit upset because I was just like, I was like, I didn't have to um, come here for this. Like I didn't pay for this. This was not what I signed up for. And just all together, like I just felt like I was scammed because the way that the whole thing proceeded to go on, it was like nobody was gonna say anything about it. And nobody did say anything about it. And I wonder like if people said something about it after the fact, but I felt like I know myself and I know that my mouth can be reckless and I didn't wanna come off like super hostile because another thing I knew is that I'm not done. Like, not that I can't hold my own, but I wasn't in a territory where like, it was my space, feel me? Like, I'm not about to disrespect you on your turf, but I just wanted him to know that that was, to me, that was unprofessional because I didn't get what I paid for it. And 
on top of that, like, it just made me open my eyes to a lot of things that, like, please don't succumb to things that you be seeing online because that junk is not what it is. Not that I thought that and I wasn't going in there with that perspective, but what made me upset, what kind of put a little salt in my palate was the fact that, like, afterwards, the reason why I didn't say anything is because I was trying to see how he was going to respond to the situation because i just be liking to see, like, how things are going to play out sometimes, like, just to see people's, where people's heads are. And he never said anything about it. Like, he was just like, thank you guys for supporting me, all, all that good jazz. Like, thank you for everyone who showed up, showed out. And I was just like, but what about the fact that we ain't do no makeup? but yeah that got me tight so i'm gonna just end this rant right here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just organize all the things that i have already inside this makeup chest i'm gonna go through all the makeup chest with you this is about to turn into a voiceover in 2.5 seconds trust me and thank y'all for watching like i said this was not meant to be a spiteful video or nothing like that but you just really have to be careful like because not only that, but it would just make me want to support you more if you just called your own bluff and realized your own, like, mistake or whatever. Um, and yeah, just be honest, because that's what's most important to me is the honesty. Like, it's just the honesty for me. I like these brushes. I could get busy with these brushes. This is the thing that I said that I had saw that I didn't know what the heck it was. It says cuticle on it. This has cuticle on it. I would have never, I still don't know what this is. I'm going to Google it before I use it. But yeah, that was just what I had to get off my chest. And with that being said, click the link in the bio if you like my case. You know, you want to purchase it for yourself. Like I said, it does come in different colors. They have a pink one. I'm not team pink. Don't fry me for my shirt. I think it's fuchsia. But it is pretty much strip on the shirt, if you didn't know. Duh. Shop pretty much strength. Oh, I don't have my bracelets on right now, but it's usually pretty much strength on the bracelets on the wrist, and those bracelets will be updated to the site soon. The site will actually be updated. Actually, I'm not even going. <laughs> We're gonna get into that video. That's another video for another time, real soon, because I have so much to say about my brand. And with that being said, I'm gonna end this video as far as me talking in real time right here, and I'm gonna just get into the unboxing of everything and so yeah i'm just talking through everything organize everything i'm not gonna go into like a super descriptive what i have so don't expect that i'm just literally gonna organize my case for right now and i'm gonna walk out through it with me so if you want to keep watching keep watching if you don't want to keep watching thank you for watching this video it's your girl jack gorgeous money jire whatever you want to call me and i'll see you next time on my another video i said my another video i'll see you next time on my next video